Hi Aries, welcome to July 2017. As you go into July, Mars, your ruling planet, and the planet of action, energy, desire, passion, entrepreneurialship, Without Mars, we can't get anything done. So Mars is a major player. And he's in Cancer, which he's not really happy about. He's exalted in Capricorn, and he's in his, what we call, fall in Cancer. Cancer is about sensitivity and compassion and family and nurturing. Mars is a warrior. And so... He doesn't know what to do with that. And he's making a direct opposition to Pluto on the second. And it will be a T-square at the full moon on July 8th and 9th. On the positive, it gives you sensitivity. It can make you empathic so that you can read other people. In fact, you may even notice that you are you're not feeling the need to push at anything to push to get ahead to push to get things done to push other people to get them to move you're more sensitive and empathic to what other people need from you or what's going on with other people and if you use this skill of empathic power you can find that it's a newfound awareness that you're gaining during this time where you can attract what you need and notice the, the timing of things or the synchronicity where things can happen that you want to see happen and you didn't have to push to make it happen. So... Be aware that for the first few weeks here in July, your ruling planet Mars is in Cancer and it is going to add this sensitivity and you may even notice that you have heightened sensitivity and you're really tuning into other people and aware of what's going on with them and it really empowers you to get what you want, make things happen, and do it in a way where others are helping you and working with you and you're not having to push so hard to get things done or make things happen. So it's an interesting time for you and it's an interesting energy. Now, be aware that for some of you, there could be a power struggle at work. Given this very intense Capricorn full moon, the Sun and the Mars are coupled together in Cancer, and they're opposing Pluto and Capricorn, and the Moon in Capricorn, and they're being T-squared by Jupiter in Libra. And so this is a, a very dynamic energy. Now, it can give you a tremendous drive to get things done. The challenge comes in is it could be explosive with some folks. Now, especially at work because the full moon is happening for you in that area of your profession in the world, your reputation in the world, your work in the world, what you do in the world, who you are in the world, defined by your individual work contribution, volunteer contribution. And so this is going to be an interesting dynamic here. And, you know, for some of you, it may mean that you're finishing up something. Maybe you want to move on from what you're doing. This will be a time here, this first part of July, first few weeks into July, where you are thinking about you know, do I love what I'm doing? Is this really what I'm here to do? Is, is this my authentic self? Is this my life path destiny? Is this the work I've come to do? You will be evaluating that this first few weeks here in July. And it's important to think about 
you know what are you receiving from the work you're doing now for some of you you may work to pay the bills and you have your passion through your hobbies and elsewhere and that's fine too and so it's still going to be a rocky energy given the explosiveness when you put Mars in opposition to Pluto and Jupiter making it all bigger because Jupiter expands whatever it touches and it is activating the Pluto Mars opposition and then the Sun will exactly T-square Jupiter and Pluto July 5th through the 9th so there is some you know intense energies here with this Mars Pluto opposition but for you it may just be this clarity that comes in for you this newfound awareness where you're just kinda like you know what I'm not getting into it I'm you know happy at being at home doing my own thing taking care of myself and I'm not gonna get caught up in the drama at work or the drama with other people and I'm not gonna push either I'm just gonna flow with it and I'm gonna look for those openings I'm gonna look for the timing and then I'm going to really work with people and you know see how we can create the win-win together how we can help each other and this is uh, this awareness that comes to you of how you can give and receive with other people and not feel that need to push so hard where you can just attract what you want so be aware around you know the fifth through the ninth if there's any completions full moons like to bring things to completions at work you know what you've been doing in the world maybe for some of you you're moving on you're gonna leave that job or you're going to move on and do something else start a new business move on to another job and so on know that it's all appropriate that it's the universe nudging you forward letting you know that you have gone as far as you can wherever you are Pluto is evolutionary growth and this is all about the evolution of what you do in the world and if it's time to move on from it or graduate in some capacity you will be shown this uh, this first couple of weeks in July which is really important um, to go with the flow don't resist what's happening sometimes you know things can look you know really bad on the surface or um, just negative and then you know you come to find out it's, it's really a blessing in disguise or it's not as bad as you thought it was or it, it isn't what we thought something was so hang loose with these first couple of weeks in here in July and really tune into your intuition and your empathic abilities and watch how you are psychic, intuitive, sensitive, aware, tuning into others and reading the timing on things, seeing the opening of when it's appropriate to ask for what you want and need and watch how they support you. Watch how others want to be on Team Aries and help you win and help you succeed. Now Mars moves into Leo on the 20th and he's much happier in his fellow sister sign Leo fire sign like Aries Leo Aries and Sagittarius are the fire signs and so Mars moves into Aries into a much more fun area of your life and that is uh, the area of self-expression creativity self-confidence so whatever's going on the first couple of weeks in July it all shifts by the 20th and then you have the Sun enter Leo on the 22nd and then the Leo new moon on the 23rd which is so cool and the Sun will exactly couple with Mars on the 26th that's power and that happens once every two years so it's very significant 
when the Sun and Mars team up together and of course they're coupled together at the Leo new moon and this is uh, a wonderful new moon there will be another uh, Leo new moon on August 21st and that is the total solar eclipse in Leo which is uh, going to be very intense and uh, I'll be back to talk about that and so here we're at the one where it's right at the beginning of Leo it's not even one degree it's 44 minutes and so it is new beginnings new starts and for you it's in the area of fertility so for any of you that have been wanting to get pregnant this is a very fertile time for you and it's also a fertile time for creativity so it's like these first couple of weeks here in uh, July you know it's like this cleaning out or completion and closure and really tuning in tuning into yourself tuning into others and then it shifts and it moves into uh, a wonderful area of your life that is all about your creativity and being authentic being true to yourself really coming to know yourself and it's a new start here for you and so this is you know a, a wonderful uh, opportunity you know for love for business for anything you want to create you could find that it's um, uh, new proposals are being brought to you favorable opportunities in business in partnership in romance relationship it is exciting and with this new moon in Leo and the North Node is in Leo and it's forming that grand fire trine to Uranus and Aries and Saturn and Sagittarius you know this is about really tuning in to your authentic self and following the beat of your own drum <clears throat> following your own path being authentic being original being creative this is a wonderful new moon for you and it's lighting up a, a romantic creative fun part of your life so the energy really lightens up for you the 20th on and it's exciting so you know mercury went into leo on the fifth and then he enters Leo on the uh, Virgo on the 25th so he's on the move too which is great for business and so you know this is a time where if something completes for you in your work new opportunities are coming in a new pathway is going to be shown to you and it is very favorable optimistic and uplifting and so also with the Mars in Leo and uh, coupled with the Sun and the new moon here this is the birth of the new male energy as well so it's it's the birth of the God energy the the male energy being elevated so the the new male the the male energy being lifted up and inspired and raised up in uh, frequency and vibration and so this is the time to start anything new right at that Leo new moon for you is exceptional and uplifting and inspiring so it really is a time for you to first clean out what's not working anymore be aware of you know where you're dissatisfied and where you just don't want to be doing what you're doing anymore and then allow for the fire energy to flush through you and open you up to the new possibilities the new potentials the new pathways the new you know way of being and and it all ties into your spiritual power your individuality your authentic power and your creative power 
all of this is lining up in a harmonious energy flow for you to inspire you and create new opportunities for expansion and so I really love the shift in here you know so so yes you know the first couple of weeks are going to be dynamic and you know some people are going to react in negative ways to the to the Mars Pluto we'll see it in the world with some groups we may see some violence or terror um, you know but on a personal level you can get a tremendous amount done with this energy you know is is if you're working on a project or you want to uh, work out physically great energy for that and you know then it shifts into the fire area for you which um, is amazing because you know Leo pours positive energy into any planets you have in Aries and you have your ruling planet there harmonizing with your planets in Aries and you have Mercury there till the 25th you have the Sun and the Moon there you have the North Node in Leo there and this is all about being creative really knowing yourself now and trying new things if you're feeling stuck if you're feeling like you just don't want to be doing what you've been doing anymore try something new new projects new initiatives these are the energies that are going to be flooding you here in July and August and it's very exciting because you know this grand fire trine with Uranus and Saturn in Sagittarius and the North Node in Leo it's lifting you up it's lifting you up into higher consciousness to expand your thinking in a way that opens doors for you brings new opportunities for you and so be open to doing things in a new way especially if you've been feeling stuck and you've been feeling like oh, I I want to get a new job I want to move I want to be in a new relationship this is the time to allow that to come in this is the time to allow any new proposals that are being offered to you to be open so for those of you open for love it's on especially the 20th on that area is so fertile for you you are fertile for love creativity birthing the new you giving birth giving birth to a new business we don't just give birth to children we give birth to new ideas projects initiatives businesses and so you are very fertile for that and so be open because you can have uh, a, a wonderful start with a new love for those of you already coupled this could be a fabulous energy for you to um, have a great time together and do things together you know Jupiter is in that area of marriage and partnership and relationship and that is absolutely helping you to uh, have harmonious partnerships and also it is there to help you uh, receive from others and have other people in your life good people that want to help you and want to see you succeed so it's a very favorable time for relationship I'm not seeing any challenge to the prosperity and you know if you're moving out of something just know that's to move you into something new and new opportunities will be presented especially the third week on and well into August things are really going to come together for you and that is you know it with career you know is you you know for some of you you may feel on fire with what you do you may feel like wow you know I love what I'm doing I'm really into what I'm doing and I'm succeeding at what I'm doing and I feel good about where I am and where I'm going for others you may feel like I'm done you know I just don't have any passion for it anymore or I just you know I'm not into it anymore 
And that's okay because that's the universe nudging you in a new direction so that you will uh, take advantage of the new business proposals or personal proposals or both love and business it's very favorable for you this month and next month for relationship opportunities business opportunities for some of you you could be you know creating a new uh, project of podcasting broadcasting webcasting uh, blogging uh, vlogging YouTube channel uh, anything creative now is is going to be extremely stimulated the 20th on and it all ties into that fabulous grand fire trine that is activating you and lifting you up to move in the direction that's all about soul expansion so spiritually you're growing spiritually your vibration is increasing and you're being raised up by the fire energy pulling you up into higher consciousness so remember if things don't you know look good right now take a wider view take a bigger view of your life don't just look at today or what's gone on this year but look at how far you've come and look at the larger picture of how you are evolving and growing and the growth that you've done and the good work that you've done to get to where you are and that will empower you to be open to these new opportunities that are knocking on your door and I'm not seeing any challenges to the health your wealth is in the health the better you feel the more you can do the more you can do the more you attract the more you can achieve and so keep the focus on your sensitivity your empathic intuitive awareness of what's going on with you what's going on with others and then watch it all shift the 20th on and be open to the new amazing proposals that are coming your way so thank you for listening thank you for watching Thank you for liking, favoring, sharing, and Google Plus in my videos. Aries, you're rocking awesome. Thank you for subscribing. You totally rock. And if you would like for me to take a detailed look at your astrology, it's very easy. The link is below in the show more section. It's also up in the cards. You go to my astrology page. You purchase a session upon checkout. You get the link to my schedule. And we're working together. So until next time, Aries, be intuitive. Pay attention to your feelings. They are going to reveal a great deal to you and then be open to the new life that's being born here with you. It's very exciting.